the landforms that we see today have been modified gradually but continuously by external forces like heat and cold, wind, water, moving ice, etc. <laughs> Today, we will see the effect of running water on various landforms. The Earth's surface receives water mainly from rainfall. A part of this water evaporates. Some of it seeps underground and is called groundwater. The water that remains on the surface of the Earth is called surface water. Both surface water and groundwater acts as agents of erosion. Groundwater creates interesting features such as caves. Surface landforms are altered by flowing surface water, mainly rivers. Depending on the terrain through which it flows, a river performs three types of functions. Erosion, transportation and deposition. The course of the river may be divided into three sections. The upper course, the middle course and the lower course. A river usually has its origin in a mountainous region. The part of the river lying in the mountains and hills is its upper course. The river flows down a steep slope at a great speed and its most important action in this stage is erosion. Because of its great speed, the river in its upper course erodes the valley bed more than the sides. The valley thus becomes deep and narrow with steep wall-like sides. Such a valley is called a gorge. Large gorges are called canyons. The Grand Canyon of the Colorado River in the USA is a famous example of a canyon. A waterfall is formed when a river descends suddenly from a higher level to a lower level. It is generally formed at the edge of hard rocks lying on relatively soft rocks. The soft rock area becomes deeper as a soft rock gets eroded more than the hard rock. This creates a sudden drop in the river's bed. Here, the water rushes down almost vertically in the form of a waterfall. Angel Falls in Venezuela are the world's highest waterfalls. As the river leaves the mountains and enters the plains, its pace gets slowed by the gentler slope of the land and thus it becomes difficult for the river to carry its load of rock fragments and thus it starts depositing alluvium. The slow pace of river reduces the erosion of the valley bed and side cutting becomes more prominent and thus the valley broadens. Most tributaries join the river in the middle course. The deposition of sediments on the bed reduces the depth of the river valley in the plains. Thus, when there is a sudden increase in the volume of water Especially during rainy season, the water spills over the banks, causing floods. When the water recedes, it leaves behind alluvial deposits over large areas on both the sides of the river. This flat region formed by the alluvium deposited by, by the river is known as the flood plain of the river. So after repeated floods, deposits pile up along the banks of the river forming raised embankments called natural leaves. In the plains, the river moves very leisurely and forms S-shaped bends called meanders. Alluvium is deposited on the inner banks of the bends and side cutting is prominent on the outer banks. Side cutting may ultimately cause two bends to meet, forming a loop. Deposition may then cut off the loop from the main river. The bow-shaped lake thus formed is called an oxbow lake. A river's mouth is the place where the river ends. Usually, a river has its mouth in a lake or sea. As a river approaches its mouth, the land becomes almost flat and the river moves very slowly and its main function now is that of deposition. As the river nears the sea or ocean, its course is blocked by its own deposits which often form islands in the middle of the river. To overcome the obstacles created by these deposits, the water of the river gets distributed into several small channels known as distributaries. 
the distributaries redivide into smaller branches till the river finally enters the sea. This region near a river's mouth comprising a network of distributaries is called a delta. It is usually triangular in shape. The largest delta in the world is the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. Children, to know about winds, click on the link given below. Thank you.